what's up what's up what's up this your boy JG back with another video on music tips and reviews with JG uh, if you tune in uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel uh, and please subscribe to my channel <laughs> if you haven't already uh, also I got super chat if you want to uh, do a super chat if you want to support my channel again I always appreciate y'all support you know those you know the guests that come up here you know really you know help me out with my channel uh, you know I you know I don't take it for granted uh, also I got cash app dollar sign J Gills VA so if you want to support my channel uh, you know support me please feel free to do so <laughs> so I uh, appreciate the support so uh, we are gonna get into it hopefully some guests come up here tonight uh, to really talk about this uh, this super producer group uh, the Neptunes and uh, suppose you know hopefully this is a good show hopefully we can get into some stuff you know their discography and uh, just all the hits they have created you know throughout uh, the years the late 80s um, to the you know the early 2000s even to now you know they still you know producing uh hits and so uh i just uh appreciate y'all again for tuning in hopefully i have some guests up here soon uh to join me but uh if you're tuning in uh please let me know you're in and also uh if you want to join you can go ahead and hop on uh, those who i've invited in uh groups you know to come up here and uh Again, uh, this is a you know a legendary group. Um, you know, it inspired me. You know, I started producing in like 2005, 2006. I started producing, and it um, you know this one of the groups that really inspired me. Uh, not only because of their production style, but you know they're from Virginia. They're from my my hometown, so it was very uh, inspirational uh, to see. Uh, this group, the Neptunes, really uh, blossomed into what they have become. And uh, I believe, uh, I might I might be wrong, but uh, Chad, you know, he was from uh, Salem High School. And uh, I believe Pharrell, Pharrell went to, uh, I believe he went to uh, Princess Anne. He went to Princess Anne High School, and uh, you know they met along the way. Uh, you know, you know they met along the way, the way, and uh, and the gifted, gifted, gifted. <laughs> I can't even talk. Gifted and talented uh, program, and that's where they, you know, connected with each other. So I uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. I might have a guest coming up now. Uh, I think they're getting their connection right. What's up, Steve? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Appreciate you for coming yeah. up here. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hope you, you are. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I'm at a restaurant in Carver. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I love Carver, too. <laughs> Carver. Yes. Well, I, I never had that food, but I'm just yeah. Like that. Yeah. And so, uh, one thing one thing the neptunes is known for is their bridges and uh i want to play a clip uh let me go to this screen let me see if i can get to it one thing they're known for is their bridges and so i want to get to some of the bridges they're known for uh this is like a collection of you know the bridges they have done Uh, I feel that the Neptunes, you know, a lot of a lot of producers, a lot of artists in the industry. Uh, honestly, you know, artists are not a ri completely original. You know, every artist, you know, they've been inspired by the past. 
you know right. all the great artists are inspired by the past like mm -hmm. beyonce you know like uh, michael jackson they was inspired by james brown and so you know neptunes i feel they was deeply inspired by the producers of the past like prince mm -hmm. like michael jackson chords like the quincy jones and stuff like that yeah and so you know when you first when you first have heard the neptunes how did you think about they sound what you thought about they sound Man, i mean it was it was definitely a vibe and yeah. you know like it was definitely i mean i appreciate it on another level but now but at the time and it was just like wow like the sound was just like it's like a something out of space type stuff but it was it was yeah. like organic and it was, it was yeah. soulful too like with the, yeah. especially with the chords and the oh bass. yeah yeah and uh you know a lot of people don't give credit to chad hugo but yeah. chad hugo chad yeah. hugo had a lot to do with the structure of the song like pharrell was more the lyric lyric person like right. after after the music is done you know pharrell would do the lyrics but chad would think of all the bridges and the chords structure and all that stuff but uh i saw in a recent video with chad you know He's he's like an introvert. He don't really talk on mm -hmm. interviews, and so it's like painful, like when he do interviews. But he, you know, he's just talking about, you know, how they got into the game and stuff. But it's kind of like, you know, he he really don't like being a limelight, but right. still, you know, he still is a major part of the Neptunes. Exactly. So yeah, so it, it's you know, it's different type of people, different type of producers. Some producers just like to stay in the back, and some like to stay, yeah. you know, in the forefront. And Pharrell is that, you know, of the Neptunes. You know, he's the the face of Neptune. So <laughs> I heard of, uh, one of the songs he was listening to because he 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 was doing a um, a video, and he, I guess he was encouraging some future producers. But he said one of the songs he was listening to, I ain't gonna say it motivated him a spot, but it was one song that he really. Um, that really stuck out was the um, the Nita Apple song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Q Tip is a producer too, so. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, he's and he loved the drums and the syncopation of the of that track. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't know Pharrell. You know how Pharrell and Chad got into the game. Uh, Teddy Riley had a, a talent show. Yeah. Uh, in Virginia Beach, and this lady, uh, I think, an assistant or something like that. Uh, say you need to listen to these guys, pay attention to these guys because right. they're different. And you know, all the rest of people were singing Whitney Houston, singing all this stuff. Right. Yeah. And you know, Pharrell and Chad, they just came up there and just was original. You know, right. Pharrell was doing his 90s rap, uh, Chad yeah. was playing the keyboard and all that stuff. And I, I bet Teddy was like, Yeah, they're gonna be you know, something. And so and so Teddy invited Pharrell and them to her his studio, and you know he started writing raps for Teddy Riley, and that's when mm -hmm. Rump Shaker came, came Rump Shaker. about. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yep. Speaking it's, of uh, it's, it's speaking of um, Rump Shaker and the T TLC song you was playing, yeah, uh, there was a remix. Uh, to that song, I oh. think I believe so because oh. remember House Party Three? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And Left Eye was rapping up there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, wow. I ain't know that. Yeah, well, yeah, and uh, I wow. love I love the remakes they did the shot A two by your side. I don't know if you oh. heard that. <laughs> yeah. I might I might gotta listen. I might have heard it, but I gotta listen to it a bit. Okay, okay, yeah, and uh, it's just, it's just so many uh, you know, they sound just evolved. Like you know, let, let, I'm gonna go to their discography. Um, let me change pages. Let's see. And you know what? Yeah. And why are you doing that? Yeah. Speaking of bridges, one of the one of the most one, in my opinion, one of the most phenomenal bridges. One of them that they did was on um, front. Oh yeah, front. Like yeah. it was just oh my god. Yeah, yeah. When I first heard front, I was like, you know, a lot of people throw shade at Pharrell for his vocals, like you know, like he can't sing, but. Like, his vocals is different like it's, it's it different. gives it gives the song a, t a certain texture yeah. and uh you know that's that's the way it is you know and i like you know jay-z on that verse 
even though it was a short verse it, it was you know it was dope it was, <laughs> so, yeah it was yeah yeah and we're gotcha. gonna get and we're gonna get to that album too uh neptunes presents the clones all right that that was on that that front was on that album uh neptune presents the clones but uh you know start from the beginning uh like i said he was working with teddy riley teddy riley right. discovered them and a lot of uh big producers is from teddy riley's camp you right. know like doc child uh yeah. i don't think tim no nah, tim was from Devonte swing camp but, but he uh, um yeah i think uh, he have they they uh linked up a couple of times oh they yeah recognize each other because just for where they were from yeah yeah and a lot of you know other engineers came from Teddy Riley as well, and, and this, uh, yeah. This thing was a, um, I mean, she had a lot of a lot of ideas. Her ideas was just insane. Yeah, yeah, and I can't wait to get to Ted uh, Timberland's discography. I will oh, get to that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, yeah, starting with '96 though, that's when they yeah. definitely got into the game, you know, as far as production, and uh. Tim and Bob had a story uh, of Dallas Austin turning them down. You know, he said. I know he's here in the air to this day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To this day. Remember, don't you want to this day? Yeah. Yeah. Because Tim and Bob was like, uh, you should te- check these guys out. And and Tim and Bob said he know when Dallas Austin not interest- interested because he'll say, okay, he'd be on the phone like he busy. And so he he kind of you know you know passed them like he they all right they are they okay because uh i think tim and bob played some of their music mm-hmm. and dallas just waved it off like okay <laughs> and, and so yeah now i wonder sometimes too and you probably thought about this too yeah where would the what where would how would neptunes be sounding if yeah. dallas took them and how would they be farther than where they at and then yeah. we have the songs that we have. Yeah. Now, because you can look at this in a good way, too. Yeah. Where, like, you know, okay, Dallas probably, he now appreciated. He Now he's learning that. I mean, he's learned, already learned, like, to not just pass up yeah. um, a group and give them a chance. Yeah. But yeah. Um, just to see the elevation. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, like, you never know where people will, you know, end up, you know. And uh, Tim and Bob, they found a liking the Neptunes. And the funny thing is, when Tim and Bob went to New York to work with 112, because you know they yeah. worked with 112, they yeah. saw the Neptunes. And the Neptunes were like, Can we get in there, you know, play something for Diddy? Because you know, 112 was signed to Diddy, you know, Puff right. Dead or whatever his name is. <laughs> Sean, Sean Combs, one day, P. Diddy, Diddy. <laughs> yeah. Puffy. And so, you know. He played stuff for uh, for Puff Daddy, and uh, you know, looking at me came about Mace. Why are you over there looking at me? Yeah, right? yeah so, <laughs> and I I didn't know they produced all these hits like back then because I wasn't into production yeah. back then. So right, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I didn't, I didn't like I I didn't I didn't know until. I didn't know either until like later just by just you know by hearing the sounds and stuff and even yeah. um stuff you would tell me about too i was like man i didn't even know that yeah and i said let me go back and look and i'll start looking more at the producer's credits like yeah that yeah was, yeah and, and, and you know it's something about their court their chord structure and then the 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 sense that they use you know, it's it's different, and it's it matched what their name is. <laughs> you know, when Pharrell does a beat, especially, you can hear Teddy the, Riley's the, influence. Oh yeah, because the yeah. Ba- the the eight oh eight of the the snare be like it's a deep. Yeah. You know, like when when Teddy Riley does something, you like he got the bass sounds deep. Yeah. And that's what um Pharrell does. He has to certain like depth in his bass. Oh yeah, yeah. Snare and stuff. You know. Yeah. And I I know something else about their production. It's kind of like, it's not too complex. It's just straightforward. It, it's just that yeah. funk. It's like funk kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. They and it's but it's crazy because they know how to synthesize it. Oh yeah. And make it sound like something you you you, you know something in the future like 
Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah, and the uh, and the thing about Neptunes though, and I've noticed this when they get with an artist, it's like they make the artist sound uh very commercial, like mm. very very internet very international, like yeah. like when uh they gave Jay Z give it to me. Oh. It's like you know, it's, it it makes the Jay Z like international, like pop, yeah. like kind of like pop yeah. sounding, yeah. Cause cause it is invited that that kind of sound is a urban song song, but it's invited into the pop, of yeah. the pop culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, I was thinking about you know even Britney Spears, they changed the whole sound of her as well, like she came from that preppy girl, you know, teenage. Yeah. To uh-huh. that grown woman, you know, right. I'm a slave. I'm a slave for you, <laughs> right. type song. So, yeah. Hey, mm. <laughs> it's like they got the um the pop singer sounding more R and B. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. And uh, I'm gonna get to some more stuff. Get to more um, uh, uh, they songs, you know, that they produce. And uh, I'm gonna start from '96. Uh, okay. Now they did total uh what's the name of the song? Uh, when Boys Meets Girl. But the big hit uh-huh. they had was uh Use Your Heart. A lot of people didn't oh. know they produced. <laughs> Dude, I knew man. Yeah. I knew that when I heard I was like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that scent sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Let me let me go to a little bit of that. Let me see. I won't. I'll try not to play nothing, but I can't. No, I'll play it. I can't. Hey, what am I gonna say? I can't help. Use your heart and not your eyes. It's got it. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a bounce vibe to it. Like yeah, yeah, like a swing. Yeah, and like and, and I know it's a lot of their production has like a jazz jazz element as well. Yeah, that yeah. I love that man. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the kind of that's the thing you just chilling. You you don't got a care in the world. You just vibe because this this oh, just a vibe. vibe. Yeah, <laughs> what happened to the I'll, songs that used to be called like really like a vibe? Yeah, I got my shades on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was less is more. Yeah, that yeah. it was simple, but it was it was something it was something different in it. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like it was so much. It was. I mean, I can't explain it, but it was a lot. It was. It was. It was a very thing to just. But you got the message. You just. Yeah. Let's keep it going, though, man. Yeah, and so uh, you know, the next, yeah, yeah, like you said, it's a message, you know, and and it's timeless, and you know, I wish today's time, you know, we we get more into appreciating bridges, and stuff like that, and uh. And I, I do like the way Neptunes has evolved. You know, their sound yeah. has evolved, you know, yeah. into something different. But yeah. uh we we still miss that <laughs> the vibe we had. Yeah. 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 Cause it's, yeah. The, the about crazy thing I was about to say, can you imagine? Because they can always go back to it. Yeah. But see, but it's but but this time it would have been more elevated. It would have been an upgrade to Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, the next hit they really had was "Looking at Me," uh, featuring Puff Daddy. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and so they they kind of get slowly getting into they you know their signature sound. They not quite there yet, but uh-huh. it's still a classic song, you know. Right. Yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> the Neptunes versus Black Eyed Peas. I don't know. If, oh, no. I don't know. If I'm like, uh, uh, no. Well, best producer, but I was saying yeah. they. It's, yeah. I'm not putting the two necessarily like they are light, but at the same time, in the way of how. Yeah. Um, uh, the Neptunes like yeah. their music is, is is outside of the genre. It's funny you said Black Eyed Peas because I thought of them against somebody else. Who? who, who? The Fugees. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, how they have yeah, female yeah, singer yeah. and then they had a rappers. Oh, see, yeah, that, that yeah. makes that makes sense. Okay. And they both no, got I big hits. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah. And so yeah. That that's <laughs> even better. Yeah, that's even better. I'll go with that one. Yeah. I just looking yeah. at the fact that they was just like yeah. Yeah. Music is international. Yeah. Yeah, and I love, and then I love that they they music has like a church element as well. Yeah, like dude, uh, like you know, I ain't going. Yeah, <laughs> like it's especially when they, especially when they get to uh, uh, mystical, shake it fast, and oh, all yeah. those songs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. like mystical, mystical is like a preacher, like yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and look, we gonna put mystical, Petey Pablo, Pastor oh, Troy. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh David Banner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those people you they had that raspy voice. Even Ja Rule and DMX, yeah. of course, but yeah. those, they got that <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gonna play that too? Yeah, I'm gonna I would get I'm uh I'm on ninety eight now, I'm gonna get to uh ninety nine. Okay. So ninety nine is when they met the female Khalees. That's when they started working with Khalees. Okay. And uh let me get to her her hit. Hey, how are you? And so, what do you think of Khalees? You know, the way she's doing. You know, as far as Beyonce, you know, dealing with Beyonce and stuff like that. I, I, I so with Khalees, um, I, I think what it is is we haven't heard from Khalees in a while. Yeah. And so to have a big name like Beyonce, she's still relevant, and she 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 can come out with an album. You know five years four years still she's still relevant now but yeah. the thing is for her to do that i think police just wanted the acknowledgement she yeah. appreciates the fact because like wow but at the same time and she's not getting no credit or no permission she felt left out because it's kind of like okay we're reminded of police but i'm not getting like we're i mean fiance uh taking what 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 we all want to listen to but yeah. at the same time it's kind of like she wanted her to personally come Thank to her, her. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's kind of like this big Like pay song. homage to it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's a blessing knowing that, okay, if an artist, like a Beyonce, I know you would be grateful. Anybody yeah. would be grateful if Beyonce yeah. used a song. But yeah. I guess somebody, she's a woman, you know what I'm saying? So it's like she wants that acknowledgement. I think once she got that acknowledgement personally from her, then yeah. it, it would have been more reciprocated, like, thank you. Yeah. Whereas Twinkie Clark is like, I'm just thankful that you're using it. And, yeah, you know, you can, you know, that she's not even mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Twinkie just, Twinkie just, Twinkie just want that check. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so uh, this is uh, Khalees caught out there. This uh -huh. was a big song, uh, '99, uh, when she, when they start working on a Kaleidoscope album. Uh huh. Hey, production is like. It sounds empty, but it's full at the same time. Right. Because they drums not so good. It, so. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like they having the listeners volunteer yeah. to pour in what they feel empty, but it's not. But the gratitude of it just electrifies the sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like they've made it like a cup in a sense. Yeah. Like they, they put just so much in it, and then they let you pour. You're like, yeah. oh my, you know, you pouring your gratitude and everything. So, but yeah. Yeah, and that's, and that's what you learn with production. You know, you have to keep it open, uh, right. keep the space open, you know, so it has space for the vocalist to shine as well. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you learn that in production, you're not to overproduce because, you know, it takes away from the talent, you know, of the, of the, of the artist, you know. Right. So, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, we get into the 2000s. 2000s. And they started getting into reggae artists. And uh, this was a big reggae artist in the early 2000s, uh, Beanie Man. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and he had a, they had a song featuring the beautiful Maya. <laughs> Maya. Shout out to Maya. Maya. Yeah. <laughs> and they had the song called Girl Them Sugar. And I didn't uh -huh. I didn't have no idea they did this track too. <laughs> oh, so wow. hey. I'm uh Neptune's right too. Like right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
and I just love the, you know, they 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 lyrics and they melodies is kind of like Michael Jackson inspired too. Mm. Like yeah. The yeah, the melody. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what, what you thought about this song? Man, it, it it definitely. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that inspiration. I I think they just they want to they just want to see they want to have fun with it, man. And uh, but they took it to this is a, it's crazy. Yeah, I, what you said you said it's kind of got like an empty yeah empty to it, but at the same time it's not. It's like yeah, it's so it's so. It's simple, but it's not. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Like it's simple, yeah. but it's kind of like they made yeah. it. Nobody yeah. else could have did that. I put it together. Yeah. And like I said before, it's like they made like Beanie Man uh, international, and then appeal to Americans as well. Right. You know the way their production is. Yeah. And so you know they they start to you know really evolve around this time. The late the late nineties, early two thousands, um, and they start developing their sound, you know, right. their signature sound. Mm -hmm. And and what do you think about, you know, as far as super producers? Do we still have uh any po potential producers nowadays that could be super super producers? Hey, we can but it's not like it's not like it's not it's about it's about being separated. Yeah. Because a lot of stuff, once again, that goes with trap music. Yeah. Where, like, you know what I'm saying? It's got that 808, of course. You're going to have the 808s, but just that trap music. When people say music sounds the same, it's because the beat is so yeah. similar. Yeah. But it can happen, but yeah. it's going to take. But see, this is the thing. We have producers, but they're not necessarily in the limelight. Limelight. You got to find it. Yeah. But in order for that to have it, I think it's still there. Yeah. But it's just that, like, um, I can't think of his name. But anyway, it has to take somebody that's going to be different, that's going to sound different, that's not going to conform yeah. to what we're hearing now. Yeah. When T Pain said, we don't need no debate uh, and, and all that, he's also talking too about the sound. Yeah. 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 But. Because yeah. that's the only way how it's going to be different. I mean, you could take a same beat and do yeah. something incredible with it, but at the same yeah. time, the yeah. sound is going to separate. So yeah, I would say yeah, but it just has to yeah. take that. Yeah, and I think the the thing that made people like Timberland, the Neptunes, Rodney, all all of them super producers is longevity. Mm -hmm. You know, they they was willing to change their sound, but not change it completely. Not you know. Completely. Yeah, so if you like, if you hear a, a Timberland track, you know it's Timberland because of the sound of it. And right. I believe a lot of producers these days are not creating their own sound. You know, all the producers sound the same, and you know you don't have no distinct like. Like I need, you know, I need a Timberland sound on this album. I need a, right. a Neptune sound. Right. But now it's like I need a trap sound. You know, it's not. And, yeah, and, and you and you know what? And what happens is, is that you will have you you you, you because of the influence. You yeah, will, you can have super producers. Yeah. But then again, it's kind of like, all right, what does the mainstream want to listen to? What is it that they want to put out? So yeah. they'll dumb it down. Yeah. To you know what I'm saying? That sound that people want to hear, as if yeah. it's coming from a producer we never heard of before. Yeah, but yeah. it's but but they sound the same, so yeah. it's going to take the artist to say, "Hey, look, of course they got a record label." But I'm just saying, like, "Hello, how you?" Yeah, doing? it's going to it's going to take <laughs> them to say, yeah. um, "I'm trying to stay focused." Yeah, I'm surrounded by um, beats and beautiful, beautiful. Um, Glory that the Lord, the Lord has made on these women. Um, I'm trying to keep it PG. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's going to have to take them say, "Hey, look." All right, take care. Some of them say hi. Some of them, don't. hey, but um, it's okay. That's another sermon. Some of them yeah. say hi. Some yeah. of them say. Hi. Anyway. <laughs> 
Like, Jesus, don't be the Samaritan. Like, like, He'll pick you up. Actually, put Prince of the All right, so <laughs> you gonna wash their feet? You you gotta wash their feet. <laughs> and if you can't wash it, use your tears. <laughs> so, uh, moving to the two thousand. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I say yeah. one more thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to say that it's gonna when when that artist says, "Hey, look." Can you give me something that you would norm that you normally do that you love to do? Yeah. It it gives that artist the the, the, the passion and more free space to hey how you doing? to to do what they want to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah. I pray my strength the Lord. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's that's that was all I wanted to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You just you know like you said give the vocal vocalists and and that's the thing with you know new producers you know we always try to get you know to the new art meant the the biggest biggest artists you know we can yeah. produce for mm-hmm. but you know these these super producers they found new artists you know artists that was on the up you know coming up and they created a new sound with this artist mm-hmm. and it's different from now you know, we always trying to get, you know, these big artists, you know, like Missy, you know, like Timberland, he got Missy. Missy wasn't nobody yeah. at the time, but they created their own sound together. So, I mean, it even Miss, you know, Missy, you know, when she signed people and, and uh, I know Tweet was, was, was um, you know, when she got, got her start, I mean, when being in the forefront, she yeah. had a certain sound. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. aligned with her vocals. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the things we're missing. We're missing that sound that goes with the vocal. We have it every now and then. Like, we got um, SZA. SZA. Yeah. SZA. Um, her. Of course, her yeah. is, a, is another genre. Yeah. Lucky Day. You know, you yeah. got a few people that are, you know, saying representing, you know, carrying the torch for the younger generation of R&B. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. We, we just need more of it. Yeah, yeah, we need more of, we need more of the uniqueness, you know. More unique. No, nobody, nobody stands out, you know. Right. Nope. It's, nope, it's nope. a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody wants to see. Yeah. We want to go back to the to to see. This is the thing. You want to go back to when you know, uh, when you know you knew this was a D'Angelo right here. This was D'Angelo. Yeah. His sound, everything. Yeah. And then, uh, uh you know. Uh, a Luther, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Luther song cover songs. Yeah, yeah. All his hits was cover songs, but he made it his own unique sound. Because if you listen to the, the original song, they don't sound like how he turned it into. Like yeah. they, I mean, it's got the melody and stuff, but he changed it up. He either sped the song up, slowed the song down. Yeah. But he made it his own. Yeah, and that and that you know that that shouldn't take away from his legacy. You know Luther's legacy uh-uh. because he, you know, he did cover songs, but he, like you say, he made it his own. Uh, you know, yeah. but like because if you you can't see, this is the thing, man, and I, I'm starting to understand this too. Is 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 one thing you can copy and emulate somebody that's good because of the influence, but when you turn it and make it into your own when you take this and that and put it together and make it to how you want it to go it's yeah. unique it's yeah. unique like that's why like man even when you make do i know a jg song when i hear one you know what i'm saying like <laughs> yeah. your sound is unique that's why i said like you, know, you got a unique sound man yeah and that's 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 how a more, more artists gotta uh, take the approach like hey, look it's nothing wrong with being you yeah. Like they're gonna appreciate it because yeah. you're gonna be in the conversation when like okay, I I know an Avant song when I hear it. I know yeah. a Faith Evans song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all. That's that's all. Just be you. Do be you. Take yeah. your influences, but yeah, stir it up in a pot and make it you. Yeah. And you know, speaking of being yourself and being original, uh, we get to a, a very unique rapper. <laughs> You know his rhythm was different from everybody else. You know, oh, most yeah. of the time, you, most of the time, you didn't hardly know what he was talking about. But, but, rap. but when you know Pharrell, you know the Neptunes got with him. 
you know they created a whole new sound and uh i, I remember seeing a video shake it fast i want to say that i ain't gonna say the other word but shake shake it fast uh <laughs> you saw pharrell in the video but you didn't know who he was at the time because he wasn't as big as he is now right and so i'm gonna play a little bit of uh shake it fast the edited version <laughs> so uh oh not the bet that. uncut version <laughs> no <laughs> I'm at Carlos acting a fool. Hey. Shake your face. But a huge hit. Hey, did he do Danger too? Oh, yeah, Danger. danger. Yep, Danger too. Can yep. we get a Danger song? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to that. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let me see. And uh, speaking of Danger, uh, Nivea was on that hook. Danger. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Yep. Bro, that was music, man. <laughs> yeah. What? Like even though, even though it was rap, it was still like, you know, it was it was a vibe to it. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm gonna get into that. I know he has some other songs up there that. Hey, I just love the sound they did. Like I think I think Neptunes was the best producers with uh, Mystical. Yeah. Yeah. And so. uh we're going to get move on. Uh, I should play the Shot Day by Your Side remix. Mm. I'm yeah. going to play that right quick. But what do what you think about, you know, that chord structure and how they really put songs together? You know, it's, yeah. it's it was so different from everybody else. Right. You know, and, and what do you think about, you know, being creative and being unique as far as, you know, production and stuff like that? Dude, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Because you, you're taking your listeners on a journey. Basically, basically you're creating this adventure that you want everybody to be a part of. Yeah. Because it's going to take you to uh, an event. It's going to have. It's going to. It's not. It's, it's not just a song. You know what I'm saying? It's um. Like I said, it's a. It's like a movie, man. Like, yeah. It's, it's 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 like a soundtrack. You know. So when you're in the club or you just wanting to just listen to something just to get your mind off of stuff that, you know yeah you can listen to that it they created something they created a movie bro yeah they want yeah. people to watch it with their ears yeah that's yeah. why you have music videos yeah it's like a movie the soundtrack yeah and the melody to your life yeah and it's like a soundtrack to you know you know like me it's uh, me and you it's a soundtrack to our you know middle school and high school years you right. know these these songs yeah. you know i right. remember i you know i i remember the first time i saw uh shake a uh, mystical shake it fast video i was like oh. i was at i was at my aunt's house i was like but but these <laughs> these these songs have moments like you think of you know, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm get to it's this moments. remix. <laughs> moments and moments. Yeah. So I'm gonna get to this. It's just a vibe, like. <laughs> Bro, it's like yeah. taking. It's like taking pots and pans, the same pots and pans, and you just yeah. make it. We gonna make mashed potatoes. We gonna make gravy over here. Yeah. Gonna, the thing. The thing is, it's, it's like, it's like your passion. You know, even though you're using the same thing. It's yeah. the passion you put in. It's like, it's like your grandma cooking the same macaroni and cheese, yeah. but but it's just the way she make it. You want it again and again, right? You know. And see, look, <laughs> she'll make it in springtime. Yeah. Mess around and make it in fall. Yeah. When it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's different seasons. Yeah. So just like music has a uh, like a color, because I know you said you see color in it. It's like, dude, that it just making something and remaking it yeah. and putting it in a season a different season but you yeah. can appreciate it all year round yeah 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 it's, oh it's, it's the same thing yeah and that, and that's what a lot of these you know new producers hey, you, you know a lot of these producers trying to you know go at the wave or the you know the new sound and stuff like that but sometimes you gotta keep your own unique sound you gotta be yeah. you gotta be the same you gotta be the same 
Yeah, like, like you got to be like, yeah. yeah. Like you hear, you like you hear somebody track now. You like, oh, that sounds like a Timberland track, right? Because he created his own brand, you know, his own sound, and so <laughs> they're not right. Yeah, and so I uh, mean, yeah. Oh, you I, about was, to... I was gonna say that group Internet is another one. Oh yeah, yeah, Internet is good. Yeah, Internet got their own sound. I mean, they got influence, but their sound. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like uh, what's what's the lead name, singer? Uh, the lead singer. Uh, I, I know who you're talking about. I, start with an S. Start with an S. Not uh, star. No. Uh, um, dang, I can't believe I don't know her. Remember her name? Uh, hold on. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. I love. Wow. I love that. I I love that song, girl. I like that okay. song, girl. Yeah. But uh, getting to the two thousands, uh. They came across this this artist from the South, uh, ATL Ludacris. You know, Ludacris was a, uh, you know, Ludacris was a DJ, and right. then he he really wanted, you know, he had his mixtape Incog Negro, and uh, he was really trying to push that. And one of the singles from the album, you know, they changed it to back for the first time. Uh, that was the name of the album, and this song came about Southern hospitality. So we'll get to that. <laughs> it's all. Flow was different. Oh yeah, yeah. It was so animated was and animated, comical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comical. And that's what people loved about it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's back like, for the first time was incredible, incredible album too. Yeah. What's what's the song? Waterfall. Oh yeah, that's on Chicken and Beer album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so uh yeah. And so he got into you know Southern Hospitality and then they moved back up north to an artist named Jay Z <laughs> Ho <laughs> and they uh you know hey, give it <laughs> they they did give it to me. Yeah. That that man, I don't know where I heard that song. Oh yeah, but that song. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't stop listening to it. Couldn't get oh, it out yeah. my head. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Don't hey, get to that. Show some love to the ladies. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, you know what? What artists you you thought they was like the best at like when they worked with this particular artist? Which artist you think? They really, you know, catapulted. Well, one of them. Well, I know everybody gonna say Jay Z, so I always yeah. just say Jay Z. We already know that. Yeah. But uh, clips. Clips. Oh yeah. Yeah. Clips? And and when they, you know, when they got to clips, you know, it really represented VA. You know, even yeah. the video. You know, them being in Norfolk and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It really. You know, it really made you appreciate Neptunes more. You know that they went back yeah. to their hometown. Yeah, grinding. So, yeah, grinding <laughs> yeah. was a. It, it didn't have no melody. It just had a a beat. Yeah, beat. But still, it was like appreciated as if it had one. Yeah. Do 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 do. And I think because of that song yeah. in particular, it made you appreciate even more so 808. Yeah, and then, and then uh, you know, drop it like it's hot was the same way. <laughs> oh yeah, drop it like it's hot. Scoo! Yeah, that's all you heard. Scoo! Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so, oh. and you saw, uh, you know, Jay Z was working on Dynasty album, and they came up with this song. So it's kind of it was kind of you know taken away from Rick James. Uh, no, no, it wasn't Rick, Rick James. I think it was Rick James. Not Rick James. Yeah, give me that funky, that sweet, funky that nasty. Uh, for real, but when they get together, yeah, uh, they complement each other through their yeah. art. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. Jay Z saying I'm rapping on Pharrell's beat. Pharrell saying uh, I'm producing for uh, and singing on uh, Jay Z. Jay Z yeah. right? I mean, yeah. all, uh, while he's rapping. Yeah. But can you imagine you take all Robert and he <laughs> yeah. produced the best of both worlds because they had the song like Fiesta. 
you yeah. know, the party song. But can you imagine a Neptune produced song with Jay Z for real? With Jay Z, Tom R. Kelly. Oh, in the best mix. of both worlds, where like even if Nep- it's just a public Tom, track, Neptune. Tom Neptune's produce. Yes. Oh, that that'd be dope. But I I, I don't know. I can't see. I, mean, I can't I see R. Kelly on the different. Neptune beat. Yeah. That's kind but of like strange. more so like a more so like a club beat, like when you got Fiesta. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah I I can see that. Kind of like uh, yeah, because some if, of they because some of their tracks did yeah. sound like Neptunes, like on the second album. Even if R. Kelly had collabed, yeah, play some piano chords. Yeah, we know he could play. Yeah. So, like it's a lot a lot of songs on Unfinished Business had like a Pharrell vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. Chips, was it oh, chips? Yeah. Oh, like that. yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, it did have like that Neptunes, yep. And so, we're gonna get to Ray J, <laughs> one wish, yeah, Ray J. Wait a minute, produced by Neptunes. They still gonna do RSVP. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. That him and Sammy got some issues going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to that vocal to it, yeah. it, it, you know, it takes it to that, you know, that commercial level. Level, yeah. you know, he add his vocals to it, and uh, I think that's that's you know his touch. Even when he did uh, Babyface song, there she goes. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives it a, a different vibe, you know, yeah. international vibe. You know what's something when you add when you put Pharrell and Babyface on the track. Yeah. Like that says a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh I heard Pharrell was that there she goes, he was she was he was gonna give that to Michael Jackson. But Michael Jackson didn't want those songs. I know front it was supposed to be for uh, Prince. Yeah, front, yeah. Yeah, cause they yeah, and like all the stuff for Justin Timberlake was supposed to be for yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. One of like one track or something. Other than like just one track or something. Yeah. Yeah. Rock your body. Yeah. Yeah. Was Rock your body supposed to be for Michael Jackson? Uh. Yeah. 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 It right. supposed to be for okay. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Damn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock your body. But I think I don't know. I think I think he was he was looking for something more. Uh. I wouldn't say complex. But uh-huh. Michael Jackson got his own sound, you know. Yes, right. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, they start getting more commercial uh, attention. Mm-hmm. You know, they start working with the big guys now. You know, they start with Jay Z, uh, and now uh, he started going to Bad Boy, and he start you know hanging with Diddy. And they made this song Diddy. <laughs> you know Diddy went crazy. You talk yeah. about a song about him, he gonna go all out. Yeah. <laughs> the he knows for real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doing the Matrix and everything. Yeah. And um, uh, and that that comes with the beauty of having a drive and confidence. Right. To really make your dreams come to tuition, because right. uh, you know, you know, Pharrell, you know, he got they got turned down from certain people. Yeah. Uh, they say they sound was different. They it was too out of the you know out of the norm. But now it's the uh, you know a normal thing. They sound you know. Well, Dallas Austin may not have taken, <laughs> but they be doing concerts in Dallas Austin. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, and, and it shows you know the power of believing in yourself, right? Believing in your sound, you know, even when you know you get you know turned down, you get nose and stuff like that. Cause, you know, don't mean it's the end. Because I mean, because think about it. Yeah, for real. I mean, Teddy Riley saw something. In the, yeah, and Teddy Riley was producing for God. Yeah, Jack Michael Street. Jackson. Michael. Oh, yeah, Michael. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yeah. So you mean it? So, so for somebody who worked for Michael Jackson, I'm gonna keep going anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jackson, Ted Riley t- yeah. Ted Riley tell me I'm good. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. No matter what nobody yeah. say. <laughs> I mean, nothing against everybody else, but it's like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 
for him to say, hey, look, and they live in the same area. Yeah. You know yeah. So, yeah. I'm glad I, he kept it. I remember I told you, uh, Daryl Simmons, he, he, ho- he hollered at me. He said, you got some good stuff. And that gave me a kind of like, I ain't going to stop. No. <laughs> you know? yeah. no, you can't stop after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Daryl Simmons? Daryl, yeah, Babyface. Babyface? Yeah. You talking about Batman and Robin? Can't, you know, uh, can we talk all those hits? <laughs> so, uh, you know, they moving into the Caucasian world now. And uh, they start working with, you know, white artists. And they work with uh, NSYNC. So this is before they just worked with uh, Justin Timberlake. So they did the song "Girlfriend." Hey. So that was uh, yeah. You put that song in the verses. Now. They don't want that. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I was your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And so uh. They started. They started building their own artistry uh, mm-hmm. after this, and they got into uh, their own stuff. And they got into NERD. Uh, they Man. created they uh, they own sound. So I'm gonna get into their hits. Uh, I like this song, Rockstar. Rockstar. I'm gonna get into that. Right. To that. I think I heard that. Yeah. Rockstar. If I were the rock star. And uh wow. yeah. And and I think they really was influenced by Prince. A lot of yeah. their sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Prince was an international artist as well. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Purple rain. Man. You don't hear nothing else. Oh, yeah. Cry the purple rain. Education. For the next oh, 12, yeah. <laughs> 42 hours, your butt belongs to me. I will not tolerate wusses. Hey. Do I make myself yeah. clear? Worm, what I ain't gonna say yeah. what I, that line that he said, your butt belongs to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that stadium sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Khalees, they use that Khalees. I hate you so much right now. You yeah. know, they add that stuff. Yeah. And so yeah, so they moved into their own thing. Uh this was part of their they debut album, um uh, NERD. Mm-hmm. I think the name of the album was uh In Search of, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, in search of, yep, in search of. And so uh yeah, they got into their own stuff. And I definitely gotta get to this song. Uh and what and you know, what you thought about, you know, the the power of collaboration, you know, in between um, Pharrell and Chad Hugo, you know that that power of collaboration, you know, what do you feel about that, you know? Man, I, I think it's brilliant. I think it's genius, man. It, it's just, you know, it's it's the chemistry, yeah, um, of the sounds, man. So you know, it's kind of like it's like it's like it's like Tim and Bob, you know? What I'm yeah, yeah. They're both good in their own ways, but when you put them together, man, it's like a, it's like Batman. Robin. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, so we're gonna get into this song. They moved to New York. They went to New York. They pulled Jada Kiss. <laughs> they said we got a hit. <laughs> so that was uh knock yourself out. I wanna play the whole thing but <laughs> but uh yeah. Knock yourself Man. out. Shout out to uh, Jada Kiss, and so like you know, even they go to R and B or hip hop, it just give you that same feeling, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's it, they've always kept it consistent, but they've always it's, it's always giving you electric vibe, it's yeah, like electric vibe, chill, but it's chill. Yeah, so, either way, it's just it's just electric. Yeah, and so uh. You know they was getting into some some rap for a while, uh, but they they still had to show people, they still had to show people that they can do that R and B. Yeah. And so and so you know, how how do you think you know did they do better at rap or R and B? You know which. Hey, that's a tough one, man. Cause they, yeah. cause even with some hip hop like on uh, the song "Change Clothes." Yeah. 
you know what I'm saying, at the piano structure in there. It was yeah. just sung, it, said, it's, it, it had singing on it. So when he sung on it, it was yeah. kind of like he was telling you that, though this is a hip hop track with a singer hook, I yeah. made it so as if there was just a singer yeah. that could have just sung that track. Yeah, yeah. Or just a and rapper so, that was just rap. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, and so, yeah, so you can say about their production, it's like, any song that it did it had a melody it had right. s- melodic structure even if it was rap or r&b you know <laughs> now i will now i will say this about today's generation yeah today's music yeah rappers are sounding like singers because they miss the melody yeah that songs like this gave yeah. even if it was a, a hardcore track like knock yeah. yourself out you know what i'm saying but it had the melody yeah. You know a melody when you see what that's why you were talking about the whole thing about bridges. Like we missing bridges because bridges complemented the melody structure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and not just the loop. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah, they they always had the melody, you know, and they they never forgot rap artists and they never forgot R and B. And so yeah. now they was getting heavily into the R and B side, the pop side. And yeah. What you about to say? say? What's that yeah. lady named Natasha? Natasha, uh, I think it's Ramos she, or something uh, like that. Can you, when you, uh, can you type Midnight right quick? Yeah, yeah Midnight, you Midnight. Oh, you heard Midnight? Yeah, yeah, oh, I heard yeah, that. that. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get into okay. that. And uh, yeah, I, I saw that video. They were working on it too. Okay. Midnight. Yeah. Hey, that but, was. Uh, cool. <laughs> and so uh, you know, they started working with R&B. Yeah, and they and they got to Usher, Usher Raymond, and they That's came up with this. <laughs> they came up with this song. The real, huh? <laughs> is, is on this on songs like this, just like the Diddy one as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and Mr. Cool and stuff. It makes them have fun. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah, good thing you brought that up. A lot of their music, it gives a brightness. Like, yeah, it gives a bright. It gives you like just to have a good time, right? Just, just groove, and uh, that's that's what they really brought to the game as well. You know, everybody had they, you know, these these producers had the sampling going on. These producers were so complex, but Neptune was just brought like a feeling, like just grooving. Like, <laughs> I mean, they could talk about something sad and still bring some funness to it, some light to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like That's the stuff like, they did, stuff they did with Khalees is like it was yeah. sad, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh yeah. He got this <laughs> one song called "Clouds Away" from the Despicable Me soundtrack. And oh it's, yeah. It's like it's it's just bright, man. Yeah, yeah, and you know they both you know into music, you know Neptune's yeah. uh, right. chord structure. They you know they can create any type of music. Yeah. And right. that's what made them, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just, it, oh man, I can't even. Yeah. It, it's, it's, <laughs> see, is it, that's why, this is the stuff that separates them. This is what makes them sound unique. Is because yeah. they, they're, they're bringing something to it, you know, they're bringing some brightness to it. Like you can even go with if it's bright or not, you know what I'm saying, mellow or whatever right you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah and i yeah like i said you know they just brought a commercial commercial uh, vibe to anybody they touch you know they just gave them a groove you know i bet like that it was you know i saw like them creating justin timberlake album it was just a vibe to everything they did you know and they, they, well they they got it so man where like especially when you said commercial you can listen to these songs yeah. In the movies or TV shows, commercial, you know, um, yeah. because it's a soundtrack, man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's why that's why we we're taking the time to appreciate it. Yeah, you know and we grew up, like you said, we grew up listening to these guys. I mean, they're from yeah. where we from. Yeah, and I especially had to do them first because you know, VA, you know, VA, they inspire yeah. people, you know, from here to really, you know, do what they mm-hmm. want to do. Yes, you know, sir. inspire them. And so, you know, you know, Pharrell, they moving up in the game. And so these, you know, legendary songwriters and producers, 
they were like, this is a new sound. I want to be a part of this sound. And so Babyface, he so happened to hear, hear you know, what they was doing, a new sound. Right. And Babyface, you know, he wanted a new sound himself. Right. And so they teamed up to do this song, There She Goes. It sounds like something Pharrell would have sung it. Can oh, you yeah. imagine Babyface telling for a for, Just tell me how to sing it. Yeah, yeah. And Pharrell's just close enough, but his vocals fit perfect with their sound. Yeah. And, you know, Babyface was searching for a new sound, you know, on yeah. this album. I forgot the name of the album. What was the name of this album? Oh. Um, what's oh, the name of this? Oh, gosh. It's called Face to Face. Face to face. He yeah, actually like he actually looked like Trey Songs on the cover. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> or like uh um, Usher's versus album. Oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, so, yeah. And, 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 and honestly, to be honest with you, this is kinda like the first time I see a baby face kinda like being more urban. Yeah. Like a yeah. lot of his stuff is like kinda he got that old fashioned swag yeah. like you know what I'm saying romantic this be yeah. more urban with it. yeah like I said you know it, it just made him appeal more to a, a broader audience right and that's and that's and I, I believe they were smart teaming together you know Chad and Pharrell because exactly. Chad yeah Chad is more international you know he's Asian you know he, he right. can appeal to more of that crowd you know and right. so yeah it just worked, man. It just worked, man. <clears throat> and, and, you know, what you feel about, you know, having the right chemistry as far as create music creation, you know, what do you feel about yeah, exactly. that? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think chemistry is everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think chemistry is everything, but see, chemistry, too, goes well with the attitude. Yeah. You got, you got a good attitude, and, you know, and that's what, that's what they brought is that they took basically they uh, start brainstorming together you know what I'm saying because they're both musically inclined yeah and so once they bring something to the table this person brings something iron sharpens iron so it's like yeah. okay I wouldn't do this I would do this or oh I didn't think about this and stuff but that's because they're they're, they're, they're one accord musically and yeah. then as they start to dissect and make this cake yeah. Um, you know, in the attitude and the, the relationship, it's just it's a bond, man. So, yeah, yeah I, 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 I think uh, that's the important key, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, they went back now. You know, they were going back to, uh, you know, they worked with Babyface. Yeah. And then they started working with more up and coming artists, and right. they they you know they teamed up with, uh, you know, they talked. The DJ Clue, you know, DJ yeah. Clue needed a producer for they his new rapper uh, Fabulous, and right. they came up with Holla Back. <laughs> now Fabulous is, is consistently he's still putting out music. Yeah, but this is one of the songs he's remembered by to this day. Oh yeah. Even after when it's all said and done, his he will still be remembered by songs like this because of the organic structure, the sound that was yeah. different, that yeah. separated themselves from everybody else. Yeah. He was conformed by it because yeah. guess what? He wanted to rap on that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Therefore, right about he's that. now conformed, and now that changed his style of how he raps. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's that's what you should do as a producer. You should kind of, you know, evolve. You know, when you work with a, a, a artist, you should evolve their sound instead mm. of you. You know, now. yeah. <laughs> instead not of only, yeah, yeah. Not only are you influencing the people that is upcoming, or even or, or affecting the people that's listening to it, but also the people that is on it because. Yeah. Either way, man, it's 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 uh it's different, man. It's, it's honestly, it's it's. I ain't trying to put it into no cult or anything, but it's like a religion in the sense of how like yeah. it inspires and touches your spirit. Yeah. So you imagine the energy that the beat that they the, the melody that they put in it it rubs off on that rapper or that singer. Yeah, 
And, uh, you know, speaking of rub off, you know, this, you know, they sound rubbed off on this new, uh, this artist. Because she's been out for, since 96, Baby Hit Me One More Time. And, oh. you know, all these, you know, clubs, these kitty songs. Yeah. And then, you know, Pharrell and Chad said she needs some grown woman music now. Mm. You know, she she's a uh, she's in her twenties now, right. and so you know they work with uh, Britney Spears. I know I'm gonna Slay for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what year it is right now. Yeah, <laughs> two thousand is still alive. Yeah, this uh, yep, two thousand, two thousand one. It's still yeah. alive because you go back to it. People play the stuff at the club, or you hear it on the radio station. Yep. Yeah. You still hear these songs, and if you yeah. don't, you gonna find them on Pandora somewhere else. <laughs> Even the younger generation is listening to this. Oh yeah. They're like, "Hey, my parents, like, okay, like, you know, that's why you got these artists and stuff sampling music like this." Yeah. Because speaking, they, yeah. Speaking of that, I seen somebody that graduated with us. They kid just turned. 17 i was like wow time flies Jeez. <laughs> yeah. oh i know you're talking about yeah and so yeah. it's it's just it's, it's crazy and they still listen to you know what we listen to you know hey and, and speaking of which i saw a teacher you remember miss gumbo miss gumbo that sound familiar miss gumbo third grade i think i remember her she, she teaches where i'm at and oh, stuff wow. i didn't know it the whole time she said oh um she said, oh, I, she said, what's your name? I said, Stephen White. She said, oh, I used to teach a, a, a kid named Stephen White. Oh, I wow. said, wait a minute. And I said, that's me. And then we start, she knows um, all the teachers. Miss Hudson, she, yeah. she adds all the on Facebook. And oh, yeah. she said, um, how, she thought we was in our 20s. And I said, oh, wow. and I mentioned you too. I said, you remember James Gilmore? I think she she remember you too. Yeah. She remember, she, yeah. I well, want her class, but I, yeah. But she said she thought we was in our twenties, mm. bro. She said I taught, I taught, I taught y'all. You know, at that time we was nine years old. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and we're like in our thirties. And she said I can't believe it. And, and these teachers don't even they age well, bro. Yeah, they look the so same. Yeah, they look the same. But uh, you know, going back to the music, it's like this music is timeless you don't even think about the time it came out you don't because and see uh, yeah. <clears throat> the reason why it was timeless because yeah. it was on time it yeah. wasn't rushed yeah. it came when it needed to come and guess what because it did that it remained there yeah 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 and you know time you know you have to evolve and uh this yeah. next artist you know he was a young rapper coming out very young you know, Jermaine Dupri, you know, put him under his arms. But, you know, Jermaine Dupri's sound was good. But, you know, they were looking for versatility on his second album. Right. And so, uh, Neptune's worked with this artist, uh, Little Bow Wow, and they came up with Take You Home. And I didn't know they did this first. I first. didn't know that either. <laughs> I'm just doing this now. <laughs> yeah. So, as you continue on with this thing, you know this. <laughs> They everybody makes something coming out, it gets harder. But yeah. it's still simple though. Like Yeah. And that shows the driver drive of them. Like they were like, We're not gonna let nobody just destroy our sound, say our right. sound is old. We're gonna evolve, we're gonna go harder, and we're gonna keep going harder. Because the whole world gotta know this this new sound that's out. And that's you know, why they call there's a reason why they call themselves the Neptunes. Yeah. Neptune. <laughs> it's a planet. It's not yeah. On Earth, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's blue. It's blue like a planet. Yeah, that's the thing. It's blue like one, but it's 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 away from this Earth. That means it's stuff. It's something we've never heard before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. That's why they call themselves the Neptunes. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you know, what I'm saying it's cool because um, Pharrell is on Neptune. Oh, Chad yeah. is on Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, and um. Uh, what 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 do you feel about you know producers you know these days f versatility, uh, what what you know how you feel about the power of versatility you know be able to work with this artist and that artist, you know, how you I, feel I, about that? Well, I listened to that Beyonce album man. Yeah, and I was listening to especially that song called Alien. Yeah, 
Alien Superstar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that whole album is fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 Cuff. I like Cuff. Cuff is my favorite. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Cuff. Yeah, Cuff. And tr- even even uh, Church Church Girls, which was you know yeah. a sample, but just taking Alien for example, it, it, the whole thing. But yeah. just taking it, it is a privilege, man. And it, it's it's only yeah. when an artist can work. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, I think the producer is more excited than the artist. Yeah, because they know they're dope. Yeah, but when they know somebody who's been through different versatility, you know, yeah. trying different sounds and stuff, and looking yeah. for a different sound, and they choose you. Yeah, yeah. So take take their sound to the next level. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you right. It gets you hyped because you about to tell you, you what you're saying right now is that because it's my time. Yeah. I appreciate the songs that you did, but because yeah. I'm producing for you, I'm gonna yeah. have it sound like the best song you've ever heard that yeah. you sung on or rapped on. Yeah, and uh, yes, you know, and speaking of the best song, you know, like you said, you know, when you work with a producer, they should evolve your sound, and that's what they did to Buster Rhymes. Uh, they <laughs> they evolved his sound. You know, they made him more commercial with this song, and uh. They came up with this, Pascal Cavassier. Jeez. I wish I wish I was for real. <laughs> and that beat is so like simple, but it's full. It's like yeah. they vocals they vocals fill it out. Yeah. 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 And like with the guitar the, the guitar complements it. Oh yeah, and they made the, the guitar kind of thick. Yeah, because the vocals, you know, bust around the vocal is like real, like, like hype. So yeah. they got to make the guitar Dang. sound like, <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, and, and and what do you think, like, the elements of of creating a a big hit? You know, what do you think has been their formula for creating a big hit? Hey, how you doing? I think, man, I think it's like, hey, look, let's come up with something groovy. Let's just have a good time. Who knows? They might have they might have said something. I don't know. They said, let's just play around, but let's have a good time. We want to just, you know, something that everybody can groove to, not just in the clubs, but at the cookouts and stuff, you know, at a party, uh, um, after the weddings and stuff. Like, let's just, you know, it's a celebration. Let's have a good time. Matter of fact, yeah. maybe, too, with them, um, moving as high as they did and where they came from, they yeah. used that in their music to celebrate their, their greatness and the elevation of yeah. the Neptunes. Yeah. And it just spilled into their music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, you know, yeah, yeah, like you said, they used a celebration and, and it gave them more fuel to keep going and create even more massive hits. And like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because can you imagine, here it is, they're saying, we want to play something yeah that everybody can dance to yeah and grew to and have fun we not yeah. going to add no pressure yeah we're going to have some vocalists we're going to have some emotions but we're going to have fun with it yeah and you know they they really went to to the moon with this next song <laughs> nelly hot in here <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> you and you noticed there was so many celebrities and stuff. Oh yeah. So hot in hell. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. And so man. you know, what what you feel like is the key to longevity? You know, staying in there. You know, not giving up. Having man, uh, just having fun and and not worrying about. Uh, a lot of times, people worry about. What the outcome's going to be? Don't worry about the outcome. I was talking to somebody earlier, and it was I was talking about rejection. You know, when when it comes to when you approach a woman and yeah. she may not feel you, and he yeah. said, "Well, just don't worry about that." He said, "You need to stop. You need to get rejection out of your head." He yeah. was like saying, "If rejection happens because something better happens, yeah. stuff like that, you don't know what she's going to say." The, yeah. He, he says, "This is the mindset." I said, "What's the mindset you should have when approaching?" He said, um, "Let's see what happens." Yeah, yeah. So they came in there saying, Hey, look, we're going to bring them into our world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're not going to try to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 be in their world. We're going to bring the, the, them to our world. That's why we're called the Neptunes. 
because yeah. we have to have the world see that we from another planet yeah yeah so they took what they love and what they enjoy and what they would rock to and say hey look this is what we do and yeah. if you rocking with us and you love it then you're gonna love what we make yeah yeah and that's what and they so did. you know and I you know by the time they, yeah Go ahead. I never heard a, even even if it's there. I never heard a negative thing about that song when it comes oh, yeah. when it comes into the music. I never heard yeah. anything negative about it. That's, now I know people saying like they got their favorites. I get it, but you ain't gonna never hear when it comes on in a party. Ain't nobody saying I ain't gonna dance to this. Oh yeah, it's gonna make you get up. It's gonna make you. Yeah, <laughs> them and drums gonna, gonna make you. Get up. That, that's why they say it's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't got no really you like yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and so you know by the time they got to nelly you know they already had the whole world on their shoulder you know they got everything you know from oh. yeah what's from that Brit- they, they did eagle drop oh drop yeah flat you. yeah drop your eagle yeah okay, that's later cool. on that's later okay. on but uh okay, okay yeah. my bad i'm going ahead they got they got so many hits but uh they did drop your ego on and so uh that one is big as hot in here but it was uh, a big song yeah that was like um yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they put that they add those sounds <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta play that one you gotta play it when you get a chance <laughs> you itch you itch to get it that bro way. i'm in public right hold on let me show yeah. you where i'm at hold on. oh wow oh yeah carver yeah and, I, and I'm having a great time, man. I'm not just oh, look. Yeah. Water. <laughs> shout out to water. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got my Fiji. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Almost. Done. I love Fiji. Shout out you, to Fiji. If you want to sponsor me, you know. <laughs> please sponsor this man's channel. Yeah, appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So you know, Pharrell about it. You know, Neptune. They had the whole world. You know, listen to their music by this time. Hard in here. But they had to go back home mm. to their hometown. Uh, you know, some some rappers, you know, around the way, clips, and they, you know, they made this hit, grinding. Yo, Can't yo. take the hood out of it. <laughs> He's just playing around with us now. <laughs> he like I made all these hits. I'm just. <laughs> That's why he so, was ahead of his time, man. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and and that shows versatility and creativity. You know, you don't always have to have all these, you know, sounds in your songs. Right. But right. it's just it's just the feeling of it. You know, that's right. the feeling feeling of music. And I think that's what we missing these days: the feeling. You know, not just you want money, you want this, you know, right. you want that. It's yeah. it's the fit. It's the joy of creating something fresh. You know. I- I um I noticed your background with yeah. space. Yeah, space. So yeah. I know I, we're not on <laughs> Earth right now. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't been on Earth for about more than a Yeah, and so and so we already played in your arms tonight. That's that came around this this time as well. Okay. Uh, and then you know he got he he got with more of the greats. You know the Neptunes got with more of the great you know artists. Uh, that was other uh, past. And uh, what's you know what do you feel like the importance of these producers you know really you know you know doing their research and really studying the past you know what's the what do you feel the power of that is you know? Well, oh, uh, oh, 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 I'm listening to you know people from the past. Yeah, I I, I think man, just knowing that they're just like any artist any producer they're going to be inspired but they also want it to be different yeah you know, there's a lot of competition yeah uh, and, and, and that's that's one thing too is a lot of competition but it was in love they were just trying to tell people there's a reason why whatever your name is is a reason why I'm, I'm calling myself this name when they say yeah. I'm, the Neptune, I'm, I'm showing you the reason why our names are Neptune. yeah and you're going to yeah. love it you're going to respect yeah. it yeah so with any artist, they yeah. were so into themselves yeah. that they had you had to believe that they yeah. were one of one. Yeah. They weren't like nobody else, even though they was influenced, but they was yeah. also influenced by also their ego. 
Yeah, and they didn't have to have no tag or anything on their song. Oh. It was just you knew when you heard that it was a Neptune's. It was a Neptune, right? Yeah, you just knew it because they never. Yeah, if the if if the sound was different, it's because they only uh, 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 upgraded it or took it to yeah. another level. It's like yeah. an iPhone is going to be an iPhone. Yeah. You're gonna know it's still an iPhone, but it just the features and stuff is more features. Oh yeah, yeah. Their and, sound, yeah, it's just yeah. And you they you, and you know them them studying in the past, studying the great rappers. Yeah, uh, they they appreciate LL Cool J. Yeah, and and they came up with this song, <laughs> "Love You Better." <laughs> it's arguably an R and B song. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. an R and B hip hop song, but still yeah. an R and B song because you can hear yeah. this. And so around this time, L. Cool J was kind of reinvent himself. You know, he had, you know, toned up. He got real buff, and you know, he just changed his whole image. And you know, right. Neptune's kind of gave more of a, um, uh, what's the word? More relevant relevance okay. to l cool j to this time you know okay. he was always he was always that smooth rapper you know right. to the ladies yeah. but they gave a different urban and fresh sound right. to him you know uh -huh. with this song so right. you know shout out to uh l cool j and uh right. they produced most of this 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 album uh 10 that was a pretty good album as well Dang. if you haven't if you haven't heard that album i've heard it like one time <laughs> okay yeah I think a lot of people didn't listen to it because it didn't have a lot of profanity. It was like a clean, like around this time he was doing a lot yeah. of clean, you know, stuff. Right. Because so, he's not. It's not a lot of rappers that you know that don't yeah. hurt. Because yeah. you got your Will Smith, Bow Wow, Bow Wow, back then. Back then. Yeah, back then. <laughs> yeah, back yeah. Then. yeah. But um, I mean, but um, uh, it don't take away from the fact that you know that's why you can. Hey, how are you? That's why. That's why you, that's why you would consider it. Yeah. Uh, sorry. That's why you would consider it uh, uh, underrated album. Yeah. Because if people, listen, more people would listen to it, they would realize that just like that hit song. Yeah. You know, on that single, that's just yeah. like the rest of the album. Yeah. Because of yeah. the body of work. Oh yeah. That's why they got the, the the producer to work on more than one track. Yeah. Because they yeah. knew that that single would do something. But just imagine yeah. if you listen to the body of work, you can appreciate the entirety of the album. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and and like you know, back then, producers produce whole albums. They want just two or three songs, right? And uh, and that's what they deal with Justin Timberlake. Exactly. And you know, we're gonna get into this song, "Like I Love You." They oh, deal man. with uh, Justin Timberlake, and I love the way they've added the elements of rock and you know pop at the same time. Right. Keep looking at me. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is this is. I just give you an example. This is tying in with the music. Yeah. Everybody is. It, it has the right to not want to speak to you. Yeah. All right. So I'm <laughs> yeah. making a point. Somebody wasn't speaking to you. Hello. How are you? So what I'm saying <laughs> this is this. I'll get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> the Neptunes didn't give they do know what. Yeah. Because they didn't let rejection get in the way. It was only redirection. If anything, it was still the voltage and the energy to do what they had to do because if they would have quit and stopped and listened yeah. because one or two people didn't like their sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't yeah. be who they are, but guess what? They didn't let that happen. They had somebody, one person, believe in them. Yeah. Who yeah. they meant the world to because it didn't matter who else uh, 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 didn't favor them because yeah. the person has been where they're trying to go at. They saw yeah. the vision and they saw the future already. Yeah. That's yeah. why somebody can see With something Milton. in you before it even happens. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that, and I'm speaking to singers, producers, writers, don't let a no stop you from what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't be where I, I, yeah, I wouldn't be where I'm at if I let the no's take over me. 
Bro. Our, yeah. And the no's are only opinions. Yeah. But that, once again, opinions now. There's a difference between facts and opinions. Yeah. So yeah. just like the Dallas has said, and I know he probably thinking now, now, because see, it took, see, sometimes people know because his opinions, also opinions change. So yeah. because he saw what the Neptunes did, he's like, dang, now I wish I would have did it because I didn't see the end goal with them. I didn't see where they was going at. But now yeah. that he see it, his opinion had changed. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right, and yeah, so, right. and so, Nep- so, so Snoop Dogg, uh, he really... You know, That's yeah, he really got into their sound. You know, he really loved what they was doing. Yeah. And he knew that if he got with the Neptunes, they would really take him to that next level. You know, he was already doing gangster rap and all that stuff. Uh, you know, doggy style and all those songs. But once he got with Pharrell, he really, you know, got into that international. And so they created this song, classic, another classic. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. That's a, that, <laughs> we missing that. Took, we missing right. that groove, man. It's an ongoing. You notice how <laughs> their their songs is is continu- is a continual upbeat. Yeah, like you can never get tired. It's like they just like saying, "Let's go, let's keep going, let's go with it." Let's, yeah, you know. Yeah, and uh. You know, they got into more conscious stuff. You know, they started working with, you know, rappers and, yeah. uh, you know, collaborating with, you know, uh, you know, different rappers. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it goes along with their versatility. You know, you got to be versatile, mm-hmm. you know, in order to make it, you know, in the industry. Because, you know, sometimes your, your sound can get, you know, old after a while. And so they had to evolve their sound, you yeah. know. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it yeah. shows the power of music. It shows the power of, you know, their legacy. And so uh, they got into uh, working with Common featuring uh, Mary J. I didn't know they produced this at first, but this is uh, Come Close. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Neptune's. Yep. On the hook. Yeah, and they used to. You can still hear they. You know they. They style too. You yeah, know, yeah. When you yeah, listen back to it, so yeah, yeah, it just shows like they <laughs> longevity. You know, we 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 started from '96 now to you know around 2004. You know, still. <laughs> That's, yeah, man, you talking about 12 months in a year? Yeah. <laughs> Where in the world? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you know. A lot of a lot of producers they wanted to start their own albums, you know, you know various artists albums, you know we know like the R Kelly remixes, you know Teddy Riley remixes, yeah, and stuff like that. And so they wanted to get into you know that area, yeah, and uh, they got into creating their own uh, album, and you know this is the first single. I'm about to get into it. And uh, shout out to Lauren London. <laughs> she Lauren, was in yes. the video. <laughs> yes, sir. Called Frontin'. Bro, this gave me a Saturday vibe. Yeah, you know, you just in the house, having a hot house yeah. party, just chilling. Right. <laughs> kind of like a movie. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah, yeah, that's uh, Frontin'. He even has Star Trek written. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 